to another Explodes on Six battle report. Uh, I've got Nathaniel. Nathaniel. I've got Nick. And as always, I'm Bill. And uh, today we're going to be doing a Death Guard versus Grey Knight game, trying to showcase some of the Grey Knight uh, points drops and seeing if that kind of has any effect. What do you think, Nick? You're kind of the... Uh, I don't... I mean, it, it's better, but I don't think the points drops are what was wrong with Pretty much Space Marines in general. It's a Space Marine problem. It's not Grey Knight specific. Grey Knights just suffer the worst because they have to pay for their additional psychic powers. So, and I, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a Grey Knight problem specifically. I think it's a Space Marine problem. And I'll, I'll see. This is my first game with like a full Grey Knights list uh, post chapter proof. So I'll be interested myself to see how it goes. Um, I took I took a very fluffy list. It's not competitive by any stretch of the imagination. But I just want to try some new units. Um, units I got a lot of points reductions. Um, so, yeah. And uh, Nathaniel, you're bringing your Death Guard, and I yes. know Plague Marine's got a point drop. Is there anything else that got a anything else substantially uh, different? Well, in my list, Lord of Contagions, they got a point drop. Uh, I still don't know if he's worth it, but taking him. Um, Hellbrute's got a points drop. That's pretty good. Moves and shoot uh, heavy weapons with no penalty. Uh, they also have that stratagem that lets them shoot twice. Um, I think that's about it from my list, but there's actually a lot of point drops for Death Guard. So, a lot of the characters. Actually, the, the Putrefire, um, I think he went down to 60, either 60 or 65 points. From what? Uh, I think he was like either 70 or 80, so he got he got a pretty decent points drop. And then all the other elites, minus I think the Foul Blight Spawn, got a, got a points drop. So, um, the... Uh, Blow drones got a increase. So that's pretty, uh, pretty good. They're pretty, pretty good for those. So we'll get to see all that stuff in action. So today we're going to be doing a maelstrom of or maelstrom of war mission. Uh, we've been doing I think Eternal War the last three okay. games. Yes. Yes. So this will be our first maelstrom mission for the new chapter approved 2018. Uh, we're going to be doing the disruptive signals mission. And then Nick, if you want to. Details on what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so the uh, um, basically you need four attack objectives at all times, um, and then but before the game begins, there is a rule called refined strategy. So that means both Nathaniel and I get to choose six objective cards that we have chosen here, and uh, we basically get to remove them from our deck um, yeah. to like help us score additional points. There is one stratagem that you can use in this mission. It's called signal interrupt, and it says use a stratagem after your opponent generates a tactical objective. Select one of their uh, active tackle objectives. It cannot be achieved this turn. Um, and then we have to tell each other our uh, tackle objectives that we got rid of. Uh, I'll just run through mine really quick, and then Nathaniel, you can run through yours. I yep. uh, got Rites of Exorcism. Basically, uh, this one is Nathaniel would get to choose an objective, and I have to take that objective. No thanks, not about that life. Witch Hunter, he's only got one Psyker. Very specific. I might be holding onto it for a long time. And, you know, Nathaniel's pretty good about protecting his characters, and so I'm not, I'm not taking that. Uh, Psychological Warfare, he took min units, I'm pretty sure. Do you have a unit of 10 in there? I do. One unit of 10, that's the only one who I'm going to even have a chance at making run away. Not, not about just one unit doing that. <laughs> Domination, I'm never going to score all the objectives. You um, totally could. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of units are just like, all my units are on one objective piece. You totally could. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not about that either. No witnesses. <laughs> to kill all enemy characters for a single point. No. No, no, no. And uh, Big Game Hunter, uh, I don't want to deal with uh, the Plague Burst Crawlers very much, and so I'm just not even going to deal with them. The Blood are 10 wounds. Are they 10 wounds? Yeah. Oh, oh right. you chose. Can't, can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> are they 10 wounds? Yeah, they are. All right. we'll, let, we'll let Nick review the game. <laughs> 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 All right, and then uh, I guess we'll roll right into Nathaniel. Where yeah, so for me, I took out Hold the Line. Um, you're not supposed to have any models in your deployment zone. I have a battery of three Plague Burst Crawlers, so they're going to be my deployment zone. I have Assassinate, um, don't really want to get around and trying to kill his characters because you have like, what, two or three? Uh, I have three. Yeah. Four. I have four. You have four? Yeah, yes. and they're going to be around, uh, I mean, he knows how to bubble wrap his stuff, so. Uh, Death March, which is another one, I have to be within his half of the battlefield. Uh, three friendly units, uh, the objectives are mostly in the middle. So I don't really see why I would want to be on his side of the board. So um, advance, which is another one, uh, score a victory point if no unit in your army is in your deployment zone. 
Psychological Warfare, he's got min squads, so I don't think I'm going to be making him fail any uh, morale. And then Big Game Hunter, his only big unit with 10 moons of the Land Raider, and that's not really what I want to be focusing down, so... That's my six that I took out. I changed it to Area Denial. Cheat because we're gonna be, <laughs> He's we're gonna be cheating already. Hey, I'm game, I'm game hasn't started yet. <laughs> the game starts when you. Yeah, uh, the game starts when I say it starts. <laughs> starts when you uh, okay, choose your list. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so uh, we've got the mission. We've got our board pretty much set up. We'll just go right into what units we're bringing, and then uh, we'll start with turn one. All right, so leading out the uh, Death Guard, we have the Lord of Contagion, who's going to be on the left there. Uh, he's going to be my Warlord. He has uh, Revoltingly Resilient, which gives him a uh, four up, uh, feel no pain. He also has the Separating Plate. Uh, next to him is just a stock standard uh, Sorcerer. He's got Miasma of Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality. Um, then for troops, we have three squads of Plague Marines. Um, we have five in the front there, two units of five, two Blight Launchers, uh, two Normal Bolters, and then a uh, Champion with a Bolter. It's going to be for the same for both squads. Then that squad in the back there is actually going to be a Fat Squad. It's got 11 Plague Marines with Bolters, two Blight Launchers, and one Champion. Then for the Elites, we have a Biologist Putrefier. Um, he's the guy that gives, uh, he ups the grenade power and gives them... Um, just he just he's just gonna help out that big blob do more damage. Then we have the Noxious Blight Bringer on the left there. Um, he does a morale penalty, but he also allows everything to um, roll two dice and pick the highest when advancing. Then also in the battalion detachment, we got the uh, the Hell Brutes there. Um, we have two Hell Brutes with twin Laz cannons and the Hell Brute Hammer. And behind them we have three Fetid Blow Drones with the Plague Spitters. Alright, so for my Spearhead Detachment, I have just a normal Chaos Lord. Um, he, I'm actually spending one command point to give him an extra relic, the Fugaris Helm. Uh, with him is uh, three Plague Burst Crawlers. To, uh, they have two Plague Spitters each, uh, Heavy Sluggers, and the Fat Mortar on top. Alright guys, this is going to be my Battalion Detachment. Uh, it is going to be led by a Tech Marine. Uh, he is, counts as Tech Marine, this, this guy right here. Uh, he's going to have his Bolt Gun, Flamer, Plasma Cutter, and Power Axe. He knows Astral Aim, Psychic Power. You know him, you love him. It's going to be Grandmaster Foldus, Astral Aim, Hammer Hand, Sanctuary for him. we got our three Troops Choices, which are going to be Strike Squads. I know they're Interceptors, but they're going to be counts as Strike Squads. Uh, all are equipped with Falchions, and each of them will know Gate of Infinity. Behind them is going to be a 10-man squad of Paladins. Uh, they're going to know Sanctuary for themselves. Uh, what you see is what you get. So you got uh, four Halberds and the rest are Falchions. And behind them you also have a Paladin Ancient. He is going to be the Warlord with the First in the Fray Warlord trait, Banner of Refining Flame uh, Relic uh, for that D6 Smite. He's also got Hammerhand as a Psychic Power and a Falchion Storm Bolter. All right, and leading off my Vanguard attachment is going to be Garen Castellan Crow, and he is going to be leading three Doom Glaive Dreadnoughts. They got their heavy side cannons along with their uh, War Glaives on the side. I don't remember what they're called. Each of them is going to be uh, carrying uh, Vortex of Doom as their psychic power. Crow has a uh, Purge Soul as his psychic power, and we also have a Land Raider, uh, just your standard loadout with uh, Hunter Killer missile and Storm Bolter with a twin heavy bolter and two twin last cannons. All right, everybody, so for the deployment type, uh, we did search and destroy. And by we, I mean Nathaniel. He won the initial uh, roll off. I did. So he got to choose the deployment zone uh, and then where he would start. And yeah. then Nick got to put his stuff down first and he's going to opt for whether or not he wants to go First or I second. would like the first turn, but as Nathaniel has shown, he is capable and ready to seize the initiative. Um, but uh, I'm just going to keep my. Uh, I basically just hid, all, hid my most valuable stuff, which is the land raider. Put my put my uh, doom glaives out there just to see what they can do. I want them to get up in close combat as quickly as they can. Mm. And uh, I have deep struck my paladins, ancient. And uh, Voldus, and then these guys are inside the Land Raider along with Crow. So just these guys are in reserve. We yep. got a Land Raider full of dudes. Yep. Okay, and then uh, Nathaniel, what do you got going on over here? 
Uh, so yeah, just kind of deployed after he did. Um, not really much of a counter deployment. Well, I guess it could be considered a counter deployment. Um, try to keep, try to keep the demons because I know he has uh, Gate of Infinity, so he's gonna try to come in close, keep them out of smite range. Uh, sort of do like a, a plague marine um, screen. Uh, move these guys back here, that way they're screening off the back here, so he's going to have to come in from one of the sides, which is cool by me. Plague Bearers in the back, Plague Marines in the front, take objectives. That's That was my um, my thought process there. Alright, cool. So are you going to go ahead and try and seize the initiative? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll use one of our There guys. you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Second time's lucky. Oh yeah, no! Buddy. Don't need luck when no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't need luck when I roll <laughs> when I roll, when I roll dice. <laughs> All right, well I guess I'll go first. All right, we'll uh, we'll come back after the movement phase. All right, so uh, movement phase for Nathaniel, turn one. What yeah. we got going on? So uh, end of the movement phase, move some hell brutes up in range of uh, that boy over there. Moved up a single Plague Burst Crawler, activated Blasphemous Machines. Um, these two are not going to be in range, but he basically is able to shoot at his full ballistic skill um, as if he hadn't moved. And Put then, me down to six command points, had go. nine, spent one uh, because of the Fugaris Helm, and then spent another for uh, Blasphemous Machines. And then I actually spent another one. And that was for Cloud of Fly. So I moved basically the entire force moved up. Uh, he went in, grabbed that objective, these guys stayed put, uh, these guys grabbed this objective, I pulled priority res uh, orders received, so my warlord is, uh, he, he advanced his, his butt over there. And then while we're on the objectives, uh, why don't we go over? Okay, so not a, not a great, not a great draw, I got spread contagion, so I'm gonna elect dude all the way in the back here, you elect one character and if he's alive at the end of the game you gain a, uh, a victory point. Yeah, long con. So there's that. Uh, grandfather's Gift, um, if I kill something using a plague weapon, if I take off its last wound of the plague weapon I gain a command, or a victory point, so not, not command point, victory point. Then the pro is received that we talked about, uh, he wasn't able to deny that one from me because it would happen next turn, so there's no point in denying it, and he can only deny it uh, once I generate it. And then death begets life, and I think that's just, I have to kill up to seven models to gain one command point, so that's, or victory point, so that's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Cloud of Flies, if they're not the closest uh, unit, they can't be shot at, so there's that. That's basically my movement phase. Um, we go into the psychic phase. I have my Sorcerer over there, I have two spells, Miasma of Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Miasma of Pestilence, 18 inches. What could you want to take out? We're gonna put it on that squad over there, the fat squad of boys. Actually, it's not the fat squad, it's the five-man squad. Uh, needs a six. So that's a five. That is not a six. And I'm out, of, I'm out of range of denial as well. Um, with my hmm. I guess I'll just keep that. It hurts, but I must. No re-rolls? No, I only have five command points and there's stuff I want to do, so we'll uh, we'll keep that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Putressa Vitality on those guys. Maybe this will work. Six. There we go. Uh, that basically gives them plus one toughness, so they're tough six. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure that is going to matter, but, you know, there we go. Uh, so that's it for the psychic phase. We're going to go into the shooting phase. Uh, I'm going to shoot my hell brutes at um, that front, uh, the front dread there. Uh, mm -hmm. They have the, ha the hammer, hell brute hammer, so it's a close combat weapon, and then the twin last. So hitting you on threes. So death guard dreadnoughts. Oh yeah, they yeah. obviously ignore moving and shooting heavy weapons. So three death guard dreadnoughts are pretty good. Uh, that's one. And mm -hmm. then three. Yeah. That's not a wound. Uh, second, second dread, threes. There we go. That's that's a wound. A wound, and uh, since I spent two command points, uh, he counts as being in cover. Yeah, you don't ignore here. cover, so he has two up, two up minus three. He goes to five up. So we'll see if it uh, pays off. It does. It does a five. It's gonna work two command points. Maybe. Emperor protects. Emperor protects. <laughs> All right. Um, then we're gonna go with the 
uh, mortar bro, uh, so D6 shots for the mortar. That's three. three. Hitting on fours. Okay, just one. Not rolling very good here. Winning you on a three. Okay, that's a wound. Minus two? Minus two, yes. Alright, uh, four up, because uh, it counts as being covered. Emperor protects! Ah, right. ah, ah, <laughs> two for two! <laughs> Alright, we got two blight launchers going into that guy. Oh god. Oh god. Um, see if you actually, if you're in range of some bolters, maybe I can plink off a couple wounds. So you're not this guy. This guy it looks like is. he's just there. This one? Yep, that yeah. guy's good. Yeah, and then this one isn't right. No, nah, not quite. Okay. And we have like two more bolters here. Three bolters. Alright. I mean, I don't really care about the bolters. It's more of the blight launchers. So, blight launchers get two shots apiece. I have two in that unit. So, four. Oh. Well, okay. Alright, that's a wound. Minus two. Uh, strength of the... Strength. Oh yeah, tough strength seven. six. So that's actually not a win. Tough seven. Uh, the dreadnought. Sure tough. Dude, apparently, that's something that lets me reroll one. Somehow his toughness makes him immune to bullets. So I don't look at that, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Super tough. Well, they're just poorly maintained Nurgle bullets, so maybe they just like this, <laughs> they poorly just kind of like so disintegrated two, into two rust. Bolters. Threes, nothing. Uh, three bolters here. Threes. One. One. Uh, two plus. Makes it good. Nope. With uh, another five. Uh, we so now we got the blight launchers. <laughs> okay, three hits this time. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds. Minus two. It is. Okay, uh, looking for four plus. Uh, make two, fail one. All right. First wound. Mm, that's cocked. And I get a one for it. Uh, All right. Six plus um, unyielding ancient save fails. He takes his first wound. Okay. Well, that was a great, uh, great first turn of is shooting. That the, is that the whole shooting phase? Yeah. It All is. right. Uh, did uh, did nothing. You did a wound. A single wound. He should have died. All right. All so right. Uh, still not in too bad a shape. The only thing that you're losing out on currently is just a uh, first strike. Yeah. All right, so we will. Do you have any? Well, I'm assuming you can't declare any charges or anything like that. Nope, we're just gonna sit there after that fail and uh, think about what we did wrong because they, <laughs> yeah, they sucked. All right, so we will come back after Nick's movement phase, and we will see if he can take advantage of a slow turn one for Nathaniel. All right, uh, pretty light movement phase. Basically, just shuffled the dreadnoughts forward, kind of moved this guy back. I want to eventually get him repaired by the Tech Marine if he lasts that long. We'll see. Mm. Um, mm. This Land Raider stayed still because I'm about to show you what I'm going to do with that. You're going to move um, to infinity. Yes, I am. Congratulations. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. That's my surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Big whoop. <laughs> right, I didn't um, see that one coming. He's going to cast Astral Aim on the Land Raider um, so he can shoot through walls. Wait. Let's see what you got for Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. All right. Um, so Nathaniel uh, smartly uh, denied me this, so I cannot score that this round. Uh, Psychic Communion will not be scored this round. I got Secure Objective 2. Which is right in the middle of this giant plague marine squad, which I'm never, I'm not gonna get. Fat boy squad. Fat boy squad is in the middle of fat boy squad. So that's that guy. Psychic communion was denied this turn, and then uh, defend objective six is what his warlord is sitting on. So I'm not getting that. Yeah. Secure objective one. Uh, maybe, maybe sometime else. We will have to see. And then uh, just think everybody knows what secure and defend objectives are, but uh, just for those who aren't playing Grey Knights, what is Psychic Communion? Uh, basically, I score one victory point if I successfully manifest three Psychic Powers, and I score D3 if I successfully manifest all of my Psychic Super powers. hard. Very hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Grey Knight player. Uh, all right, so uh, first off, we're gonna go ahead and cast Astral Aim on the Land Raider. Uh, you should be out of denial range with his uh, gross Gross, uh, Gross. malignant play cast. Looking guy. pretty far sorcerer. away. So he's gonna cast uh, Astral Aim on the Land Raider. Need a warp charge value of five, and I get plus one because I'm a Grand Knight. So uh, ah! it goes off on a five. Dang it! it. <laughs> <laughs> goes, gets plus one four. For, uh, <laughs> so we have. Uh, That'll show you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Astral Aim uh, went off, so he's going there. Hooray! Um, next. Uh, this squad of strike marines is going to cast uh, Gate of Infinity. What? On this land raider. Whoa! Took me by surprise. Wow! Couldn't have couldn't have guessed that. Uh, warp charge value of uh, six. Ten. 
uh, that goes off on a nine. And so the land raider is going to deep strike. Where is he not, deep striking not to? Deep strike, but where is he? Infinity. Where is he infinitying his gate? Right to about there. Oh. Uh, I just want to make sure, yeah, he's not going to be able to see. Make sure I'm out of nine inches because I don't want to be cheating. That would be a bad day. Yep, well, out of nine inches. So he's just going to hang out there. And with that, I think we are ready to go on into more psychic phase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the psychic check. phase continues. Let me check the range real quick on this... Um, Vortex of Doom for these guys, it's going to be a 12 inch range, as is his smite, so it's going to be out of range. The smites are also out of range. Yep. Um, they already cast power, he cast power, so actually no more psychic phase. <gasps> Sad. Alright, anyway, let's go on to shooting phase. Let's hey, shoot so this. you wouldn't have gotten... You cast two. You wouldn't have gotten the D3 anyways. Yes, you're correct. My command points. It's okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <please. laughs> yes. um, no! But it'll be okay. It'll be all okay. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, let's go on into uh, the shooting phase. We're going to start off with the Land Raider. Uh, I'm going to put all of its shots, minus the heavy bolter, um, into that front um, fellow there. 48-inch range. And there he goes. Um, and then the heavy bolter and storm bolter are just going to go into that uh, front squad of Plague Marines right there. Uh, should be within rapid fire range, just. Yeah. Um, and he can see through walls because he has astral aim on. So... Four shots with Storm Bolter, start off with light stuff. Uh, it's going to be hit on threes. Uh, three hits. What's their normal ballistic skill? Uh, Land Raider. Yeah. Uh, it's a three. Three. Would uh, heavy minus one because you moved? Power of the Machine Spirit. Nice. The Land Raiders. Five, six wounds because they're Plague Marines and they're tough. No. Um, and we got, yeah, they just, they don't even care well, about Well, at least Land Raiders have that going for them. What's that? The oh, power. the Power of the Machine Spirit. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see if they're worth their points nowadays. Uh, heavy Bolter uh, is terrible. Force the Wound because it is strength 5 versus your uh, toughest 5. These guys are tough wounds. 6, buddy. Uh, did you get that off? Yeah, Petrus. Yeah, he did get it. Oh, he did get it off. Okay, well, no wounds then. So, uh, that's a wash. That's okay. Uh, we have our Hunter Killer Missile going into the... Uh, Dreadnought there. Hit on a 3. Yeah! Wounds on a 3 because it's strength 8. No! That's 2. No, I'm not going to command point that. I'm going to save that for damage. Um, and we got 4 last cannon shots hit on 3s. Uh, that's three hits. Ah! And wounding on threes. Fail. Oh, uh, I will command point that guy. Uh, oh, it's another triple six. six. Wow. You said you'd use it on damage. You lied. No, I lied. I'm a big liar. <laughs> I'm a huge liar. Deceiver! All right. And then he does ignore cover. Oh, 2d6. 3d6. Wait, it was covered. He got... I have a demon save. On your dreadnought? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Well, let me look it up now. now you're making and we'll be right back. So we've established that the uh, Halberds do not have a demon. Garbage! <laughs> Never <laughs> taking them again. <laughs> <laughs> terribly disappointed with those. Terribly uh, disappointed. So Nick might be making the rolls where they count with the last cannon. 3d6. Damage. Uh, that's uh, 9, 10, 11, 11. Ah! Oh, yeah. First strike. Woo! Woo! Oh, and he got it. Oh, does blow up. Every three. Blow up. Every three. Gone. Two. Two. Two damage. Oh, oh man, right away we've made our quota for something exploding. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Jesus. Okay. Next Terrific. is going to be, um, we'll use this back uh, Doomblood Dreadnought. He's going to fire his uh, Storm Bolter and his Heavy Side Cannon into uh, the homeboys there, the five man squad, because it can't shoot the 10 man squad because uh, they are. It's a 14 man squad. Cloud of Flied. Are, is it 14? Mm -hmm. 14 Fat Boy Squad. Yeah, it is a Fat Boy Squad. Fat Boys. All right. Uh, so he gets six shots with his heavy side cannon. He moved. He's normally hitting on twos because he basically is a venerable dreadnought. So he'll be hitting on threes instead. No rerolls. So we got. Um, okay, that's pretty good. And threes to wound because it is strong seven. Uh, you got two wounds at minus one, two damage piece. Fours. Oh, two nice. one. Sick! Two damage piece? <laughs> yep. You got it. Discussing with Zane. No. What? Oh, hey yo. Hey -yo. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, next. So close set. Do, yes. It's <laughs> close set. Get out of here. No. Uh, hit our twos with strong bolters. Uh, nothing. Um, next, we'll do this red knight there. Uh, again, six shots with a heavy side cannon. Rinse and repeat into that squad. Hit on threes. That's a miss. And winning on threes. Uh, four wounds. Minus one. 
Two damage and pop. Alright. Right. Two go through. One dead. Two are dead. You and you. Okay, and then uh, his Storm Bolter hit on uh, twos because it's not a heavy weapon. And winning on five six, nothing. And we got the last Dreadnought into that same squad hitting on threes. Um, those miss and winning on threes. Uh, three wounds, minus one. Hey! Well done. Well done to them. And I think I can make saves too. That is all of my shooting for this turn. Um, relatively okay, successful. No, uh, no objectives scored. You and did get first strike. I did get first strike at least. Uh, at the end of my turn, I will discard um, secure objective two. Oh, we can discard at the end of the turn. Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. What did do you, you want to? Did you want to discard something? Uh, yeah, I would like to. Um, well, it's too late. This one here <laughs> definitely gets life. <laughs> it's garbage. Which one? Which one are you discarding? The one where I get a point for every model I kill. Oh, I have to have seven models killed to get a point. And okay. That's garbage. So I allow it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're oh, welcome. Oh, you're oh, welcome. Hi. I am merciful. Oh, gracious overlord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, uh, sorry, Nick, which one did you discard? Uh, I go. I went ahead and discarded his character two because it's giant fourteen man fat boy squad. Probably gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen. Okay. So. All right, and uh, yeah, that's my turn. All right, we will be back after Nathaniel's movement phase, turn okay, so. two, beginning or the end of his movement phase. Let's yes. go over uh, the. Objectives here. All right, so I got my priorities, priority, uh, priority orders received. Jesus, and uh, weak in English. Yeah, uh, so it's two consecutive turns. So I held um, objective six for my turn. Um, I held it for his turn. So I get five command or five victory points. Yeah, actually. two for defend objective six and, and then three for priority orders received. So then I um, picked up supremacy, which Nick has spent a command point to deny me. And supremacy, in case you can't read the small uh, font. Supremacy is if I hold any three objectives, I get three uh, D3 three victory points. D3, yeah, D3. Um, so at the end of my movement phase, I uh, just move this blob forward, uh, move these guys up a little bit, he stayed put, these guys moved up a little bit, he stayed put, um, Plague Burst Crawlers moved up a little bit, they're out of range right now, so I need to do something with these guys, they're kind of just sitting back doing nothing. Um... Yeah, that's my movement phase. So at the end of the movement phase, I don't think I have anything I want to do. Um, we're just going to go straight into the psychic phase. Okay. Uh, I only have two psychic powers. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put uh, my asthma of pestilence on the fat boy squad and make a minus one to hit. That goes off on a nine. Let me double check my ranges here. He's out of range now, but he's in range. Mm, let me see. I need to look at a stratagem. All right. Really quick. He's going to have a quick think about it. So the strategy I was thinking of, I was thinking I could deny an extra power, but it's actually cast an additional power. So uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, try to deny it with my Doomblood Dreadnought there. Uh, I, need a, I need to match him because I get a plus one to this. So um, actually, I will spend a command point for... Uh, it's going to be um, Psychic Channeling. Um, and it basically allows me to roll an additional... Uh, dice when denying. Uh, actually, oh, never mind. That's uh, that's again for casting. Never mind. Straight up deny on a nine. Doesn't deny. I'll spend a command point uh, to try and reroll that. Nope. Doesn't deny, and I lost out on a command point. So what does that sad. put you to? Puts me down to five. Okay. All right. So after all of that, my guys are minus one to hit. Boom! Okay, we're gonna keep trace of vitality these guys. Uh, give them a plus one to their toughness. No. Um, we're gonna spend a command point, I guess. Down to three. Yeah. Uh, nope, rolls a two again. Alright, well, they're not super tough, but they're minus one to hit. Okay. Uh, so going into shooting phase, we're going to shoot the Hellbrute at uh, the front guy there. Front guy. Uh, needing a three. Okay. Nice. Good. And needing a three. Double one. Double one. See, See that's nice. just how it goes. Um, not going to command point. Gross. Uh, so... What's his, his armor is three, right? Yep, three plus now. So you need a six if I did roll a wound? Yes, that's correct. 
No more cover. No more cover for them. D6 damage. I had to roll a two or a one. All right. Um, we're gonna shoot blight launchers into that guy, I guess. Uh, coming from this squad here. Cool. Um, let's see if they're in range of any bolters. Try to plink off some wounds. I'm gonna make his nice true silver armor all rusty and boogery and boogery. Uh, <laughs> boogery. <laughs> Threes. Okay. Uh, fives. Uh, Rerolling the one because it's a plague weapon. No, so just one. Uh, one wound. Uh, looking at it's minus two, right? Yep. Five bolts. Makes it. Makes it. Gross. Wow. You joined out so nice. Makes all fives today. Apparently. We'll see how long that uh, is. Two hits, fives, one wound. Bolter. Armor save. Three plus. Fails it. And six plus unyielding ancient. Fails that as well. Takes a wound. Okay. And then which which guy was this? That was a front guy. That was front guy? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright. That's a little better, I guess. Uh, same thing from these guys. Uh, there's only two left. Um, alright. And no wounds. Cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot. Um, let's see who's in range. So this guy's in range, this guy's in range. Don't think I can see, don't have line of sight, but that's okay, because we're just gonna shoot the mortars, I suppose. So that guy. And then we'll just do them together because I can't kill you off one shot. So front guy, cool. Eight shots. Okay, so he's firing with two models. Yeah. Um, being fives because I moved. Uh, Rerolling ones because that is a chaos lord. Nope. What no. do you get? And then threes. So just one. Minus one. two. Minus two, five plus. Uh, cocked. cocked. Almost another five, though. Yeah, I'll see how it goes. Five plus. Nope. Just shy. Right, D3. The one. Nice. Six. Unyielding Ancient. He oh, and he yields the six. Uh, shoot the next guy at him, I guess. Three shots. Rerolling the one. Okay. Reroll. Uh, rolling. That's a, that's a wound. Yep. Five plus to save. Fails. A one again for damage. Again. Six up. <laughs> nope. Great game. Yeah. Doing Six. really well. Let's get the, the dreadnoughts. dreadnoughts Can't kill face. a freaking dreadnought. Six <laughs> wounds. Dumb a cumulative three wounds total. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, still have the fat boy squad. I do need to kill something this turn. We. Oh yeah, you already got first strike. I did. But it would be nice for you to kill something this turn. It would be amazing if I could kill something this turn. Uh, how much is Veterans of the Law? Oh, it's only one and I can have Okay, one. yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Veterans Hooray. of the Law, I suppose. Uh, then how does that one work? So it adds one to my wounds. Wound roll. <laughs> one to the my, wounds. Add one to my wounds, which I can't wound, so maybe it'll help. Uh, let's see. So we have, these guys are in rapid fire, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, And then uh, 10, veterans is for a, a specific unit? Yes. Okay. Uh, so no, starts. I, no, I lost my count. Got it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, And this is into the front dreadnought? Yep. Disgusting shots. Threes. Uh, Alright. Pretty good. Four now? Yeah. Four is the wound. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a pretty good roll. Um, three, six wounds. Six wounds. If I fail every single save, this dreadnought will die. Uh, so we got six here. Uh, threes. And then two fails, so that's going to be uh, Unyielding Ancient. Oh, Fails them both, down to four. Down to four, uh, we're going to put four Blight Launcher shots to this guy. Uh-oh. Awesome. Oh, One no. hit. Oh dear. That's a wound. Five so plus uh, to save him. Fails. Do one. 
Two. Two. Six up on Yielding Ancient. He yields nothing. to both of them. Down to a two. What yeah, you got left? Yeah, uh, like nothing left. Um, yeah. Yeah, all right. It's the end of my shoot. Oh, can I charge you, though? Maybe. It's probably about, what, 12? An 11. 11. 11 yeah. For Hong Kong Wounds? Uh, two. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. All right. Um, so at the end of the phase there, I couldn't get Supremacy, which is kind of lame. Um, didn't kill anything. What is this? Uh, one of your death card. Okay, so it's at the end of the game. I'm going to discard Objective 4. All right. And I'm just going to keep holding this L. Keep holding this L? Yes. What's the L? You know, I, you know, <laughs> have you not heard that You're, phrase? <laughs> this is all new He's, to me. <laughs> well, the good news is that, uh, you know, due to some good card pulling, yes. you are up four yes. points over Nick. Yes. Five to one, so yes. Nick has a little bit of work to do, but fortunately he still has his whole army on the board. Yeah, and I killed nothing, so it's great. All right, so we will be back uh, with Nick's uh, movement phase for turn two. End of my movement phase. Um, I have deep struck in the Paladins. Uh, most of my objectives are kind of centered around these three, and mm -hmm. so I want to be able to at least try and uh, start... Start to get them at least. So um, many boys on the board. So many boys. That's that right. Uh, and um, a lot of gray boys. I have left this unit over here. I've got a plan for them, and then uh, I pushed the I pulled the Tech Marine up so he can start making repairs on the Dreadnought. Um, he's, he's a cheap little repair bot, which is nice, and he's got psychic powers, so he'll be smiting a little bit as well. Um, and then the Dreadnoughts kind of shuffle around just to lend their fire support. Then I think. I don't know if we said this in the beginning, but I think you were telling me that the tech or the tech marine like almost got like a fifty percent almost almost a fifty percent drop. To be honest, he's uh, he's pretty beast. Uh, he he was uh, he was way overcosted before. He's probably he, he does okay now. I think um, he's got some decent weapon choices and stuff. So anyway, and uh, what do we got for objectives? Uh, so I pulled uh, overwhelming firepower, which is nice. Hopefully I'll be able to get that this round, especially with the two plague marines sitting just two left. Uh, the land raiders should be able to do that, and if not, I can take the paladins and shoot some of them into there. And that's uh, one point for shooting one unit off the board, and D3 for shooting three. Yes, you got it. Uh, so hopefully, I don't know where I'm going to get the third one from, uh, but we'll we'll have to see. Good luck. Yeah, good luck indeed. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll try our best. We will try our hardest. Um, so, and then I still have the other ones, Psychic Communion, uh, Nathaniel did not deny that this time, and um, got yeah, Defend Objective 6, which is still in the middle of everybody, so that's not going to happen, and Secure Objective 1, which is this guy right here, and uh, you'll see my master plan coming up in the Psychic Phase! Okay, okay. I need that. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> Master plan has been revealed. Uh, so we're going to first cast to get Infinity on these guys here. Oh, what? No way! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, it does go off on an eight. Oh, what? You're gonna move them on the objective. Yeah, right into cover. Here they are. It's gonna be great. Now, did you just not? Was this squad already on the table, or did you yes. strike those? Yes, they were already on the table, and uh, so they have they have all that stuff. Go. All right, so they're gonna hang out there and um, take take that objective. Let me put my little uh, get infinity out here. So that's one psychic power cast so far. Uh, next, we are gonna do. Um, Oh, at the end of the move phase, uh, I'm just going to repair this guy real quick. It's slightly out of sequence, but D3 for two. He's back up to four. Good job, guys. Nice. Um, Those let's wounds see. I worked so hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next, we are going to go ahead and cast Sanctuary on uh, this squad here. Uh, so needing a six. Uh, does not go off. I'm going to use a command point reroll, so that'll put me down to four. Uh, that does nice. go off on an eight. Puts me down to four command points, though. Who's that from? Uh, themselves. Okay. Making his rerolls count. So there they are. The, they have cast it on themselves. Um, he is going to go ahead and cast. Uh, you know, put that down there. Sanctuary. And then uh, this fellow here, the uh, uh, Paladin Ancient, also the Warlord, with first the fray, is going to cast. Uh, he's going to cast his uh, hammer hand onto the Paladins. Uh, again, warp charge value of six. Uh, that that's goes good. off as well, and that's this fellow right here casting out. Of and the then hands. hammer hand adds one to wound rolls. Yep, and only in the uh, fight phase though. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and cast. Uh, 
Let's see. Hmm. That reminds one to hit, which is not good. Um, we'll go ahead and cast Astral Aim from Voldus. He's going to go ahead and cast on the uh, Land Raider just in case um, something weird happens because they're, they're not in cover. So Astral Aim on the Land Raider. Uh, that does go off on a... Uh, eight. Seven, yeah, eight. That's right, plus one. That's right. And then... Uh, I think um, we are going to cast Vortex of Doom from this Dreadnought here onto this Plague Marine squad. I'm not going to spend... Um, actually, I think I will spend a command point uh, for Psychic Communion, which is... Uh, I get to roll three dice and pick the two highest when casting Psychic Communion. Puts you down to three? Numbers. Yes. It does. It's one command point. Um, it has to be the closest uh, model, and anything within uh, three inches of him, which should not be my should not be my strike squads here. Nope, they're just outside just three inches. That. It'll just be that unit there. It'll take D3 mortal wounds. Or charge value of eight. Does not go off Ooh, miserably. No. It does not go off. And uh, no rerolls available for me. So Could have been pretty nice. Cool. Pretty nice. Could have been pretty clutch. Um, we'll do a smite from him onto the Plague Marines there. So, uh, needing a war charge value of five. Uh, that goes off on a five. four and Who's this? Uh, from these, this guy. This guy? Right. Yep. Ha, huh. I shall deny you. Go. Do it. Five. Um. You roll a five? Yes, I roll a five. So, it goes off. Highs go, yep, just one more wound on your plague runes. Okay, there's that. <laughs> and then, um. He, this Dreadnought's going to do the same thing. Warp Charge value 5 because uh, Brotherhood of Psychers, uh, they do not suffer the penalty of minus 1 on Psychers. Use this one. Yes. 5 plus. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the dice know that you didn't start with them. And um, I will cast, uh, so that's 6 powers cast for me, which is good. And then, um, so that'll give me my Psychic Communion. And then uh, these guys will cast Smite as well. Uh, ooh, perils. Oh no. Uh, D3 mortal wounds on myself for one. Ah! Wow. I uh, don't want to take the Jessica. That's a bad idea. There we go. He's, He's dead. Taking a regular. Taking a regular. Regular boy. boy. And then uh, the front squad, please don't perils yourself. Uh, it does go off once again. Oh cause... man, you're just making these, huh? Like you are. <laughs> like just perils. barely. Killed myself. Killed my own. Killed my own guys. Um, and then Voldus has. Uh, he can. He's just going to go ahead and cast Smite. Um, he had, all the other powers that he has have been cast already. Um, and he, he can cast three. So Smite from Boldus goes off once again. Again. Uh, uh, it'll be on that two-man squad four there. Four plus one. Man, I wish I could roll a five. That'd be sweet. All right. And uh, that is the Psychic Phase complete. Um, I think I'm ready to roll into the Shooting Phase. Um, we are going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll start out with uh, the Land Raider. Um, he is going to put his uh, heavy bolters. Um, oh, good thing I cast Astral Aim on him. Uh, he's going to put his heavy bolter into the one man uh, Plague Marine squad along with uh, his um, Storm Bolter. And then his last cannons are going to go into the Hellbird down there and uh, hopefully hopefully get him. Uh, and he will be re rolling. He might not be re rolling once because I'm bad at this game and. Uh, Nope, he will be rerolling ones. He's just in uh, range of Voldus there. So it'll be uh, four uh, last cannon shots into the Hubbard. Hitting on threes, reroll ones because of Voldus. Uh, didn't matter anyway. And winning on threes, three wounds on the Hubbard. Okay. Uh, three, six. Go, go, do it. Um, four, five, six, seven. Seven Jesus. wounds? Oh, okay. yeah, it's six wounds. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do the uh, Twin Heavy Bolter into um, the Lone Plague Marine there. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of Voldus. Okay. Yeah. Four hits. And four wounds. Uh, one wound. Minus one. And... We got him. Hooray. Alright. Um, next, I think, is going to be... Um, Check range on these dreadnoughts. They should all be in range. They are. Uh, the dreadnoughts are going to go ahead and um, start plinking away at uh, these guys over here. If I can get three units down, it'll be nice. I'm not fully expecting it, but we will see. Um, all right, let's go with uh, the first dreadnought. We'll go with this guy right here. 
Um, they are not re-rolling ones because they're not range of anybody, and they'll be hitting on threes um, because uh, they all moved. So hit on threes into the plague marines. No re-rolls here. Uh, four hits. Winning on threes. One wound. Minus one. Two damage. Good. And then he's got his storm bolters. Both hit. Five six to wound. No wounds. Rinse and repeat with the. We'll go with that guy next. Hit on threes. Okay. And winning on uh, threes. That's four wounds. At uh, minus one, two damage. Sweet. Oh no. One, two, oops, three. I think there's one more, right? Yes. All right, so four are gone. And I don't think I can see that last guy, which is good for uh, Nathaniel, so that that dreadnought can't see this last guy, but these guys can. So let's see if we can uh, plunk off this. None of them are in rapid fire range, so it'll just be two shots apiece with each of their storm bolters. That's ten shots. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These will be going to be hit on threes. Uh, okay, that is pretty good. And fives and sixes, this is the tough part. Uh, three wounds. Couple. Yeah, see if that's enough. Armor saves. Armor saves, no AP. Uh, command point, I guess. Good. Cool, that is good. That was last command point. Mm, yeah, it denies me the um, overwhelming firepower, most likely, unless if I get really lucky with these uh, Plague Marines right here, which they're at a minus one to hit, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty rough. Gonna be pretty rough, but. We'll continue trying anyway. Um, so this last dreadnought will go ahead and shoot into uh, the Plague Marine, the big boy squad. Um, he is in rapid fire range, so storm bolts are rapid fire, hitting on threes because you're minus one. Do you move? Uh, it's a, uh, it's not a, a heavy weapon. Which one the is this? Storm bolter. This one. Oh, okay. The storm bolter is uh, not a heavy weapon. And he's got the heavy second thing that'll be on yep. fours, right? Yep. That'll head on fours. Five six wounds. Uh, two wounds. Two no AP. Is this just a storm bolter? Wound okay. damage. Oh, there's a five. Hey. There you go. Oh, right. he did it. Heavy I side did it. <laughs> Heavy side cans can be hit on fours. Uh, ooh, nice. Solid. Didn't matter. Wound on threes. Uh, three wounds, minus one. All right, but I did roll two saves, and he's nice. good. There we go now. Whoa. Coming back. Come back. Coming back in a big way. All right, and then uh, these two, uh, I'm going to use this back unit first to shoot into there, so that way the front unit is for sure getting a rapid fire. Uh, let's see. Two, one guy, two guy, three guy. It's going to be four guy, because the other guy blew his head off when he tried to cast Smite. So this will be uh, fours to hit, because normally this is kill three. So we're hitting on fours. These are bad. Pretty good rolling there. Yeah, not dead. Five, six. Not uh, well, four wounds. Pretty good. This is on who? Uh, just as uh, from these guys right here onto your giant blob threes. Okay. Ones and twos. Okay, one guy. Goes Get one. Down. Hooray! Eats it. Mm, this one. One guy. Two guy. Three guy. Four guy. And um, where's? I should have twenty. Oh, what? What? I don't know. what happened to my other dice. Hold on. Maybe I miscounted. One guy, there's two guy. This is 19, there's a 20 of dice right here. Oh, geez, well, there it is. Thanks, it was hiding. We have exactly 20 yellow dice. Explodes on six dice, so. These are hitting a fours from the front squad here. A couple sixes. Man, more. that's really nice. Holy Toledo. These guys are on fire with their shooting. Five, six. This is the best I've ever seen Nick roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, only three wounds, though, out of all of that. Okay, one more. All right. Um, next is gonna be the. Uh, how many is left in that squad? Big one. Yeah. Nine. Nine left. I don't think I might be able to do that with all these paladins. Uh, looks like one, two, nope, three. Only three guys are in rapid fire. Four guys. Four guys are in rapid fire. <sighs> yeah. Um, might as well try. Uh, I'm going to spend two command points for Cybolt Ammunition. It'll improve their strength and AP of their weapons by one, so it'll be strength five minus one. 
They are uh, currently ignoring cover. Now Nick is down to his last cover. command point. Yes, I am down to my one one command point left. Uh, but I need to gather up some dice first. And then right, so back. four guys we'll are up to our range, and the rest are not. So it's gonna be twenty eight dice. I have used the cycle ammunition strategy. I'm gonna have to get a little bit lucky if I to wipe out the squad, but I might as well give it a shot. Um, and it will be hitting on fours, rerolling ones, because Voldus is there, and Miasma Pestilence is on the big, the big fat squad. So hitting on fours. Rerolling these ones. Get rid of the twos here. That's pretty good. That's really good rolling. Wow, jeez. And uh, these we went on a fours as well. Because they're strength five now, because of side bolts, and there, there it comes back a little bit the other way. That was a five. Yeah, it came back pretty hard. That's okay. There we go. Uh, not even enough to kill the whole squad. Two, four, six, seven. Seven wounds, minus one. One damage piece. Fail two? Fail two, only two. Oh, two die. All right. And that is the end of my shooting phase. Everybody is shot. I have nobody else to shoot. Actually, he's got a bolt gun, uh, but he advanced, <laughs> so never mind. Don't worry about that. Ignore what I just said. That is not applicable. Um, so I'm ready to go into the charge phase. Um, if you are ready to go. Thing. Sure. Cool. Uh, we'll do the big. We'll do the big one first. Uh, so all of these guys are going to charge into uh, both drones and your warlord. Okay. Oh, do you need to get a warlord? Uh, you're outside of twelve. You can't charge him. Okay. I'll just charge those two guys then. Probably a ten. Yeah, it'll be a ten. Okay. Uh, I got nothing. All right. Uh, let's see uh, what we got. Are those the mowers? No. Uh, okay. The spinners. Oh, the spinners. Okay. All right, uh, I need a 10. I can re-roll because of, um, the Ancient has uh, first of the fray. So, see how this goes. Um, this is what I didn't want. Mm. See, I can either re-roll the whole thing or use my final command point for... Uh, I think it's above 50%. Yeah, less less than 50% because I have to roll 5. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Above. Yeah, no. Uh, it would have been nice to roll yeah, 6. Above. I'll just re-roll the whole thing uh, with okay. first of the fray. First of the fray. Nope, doesn't make it on an eight. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna go with this front squad into uh, your big blob there. And then Nathaniel, you didn't have anything I could fire Overwatch. Nope, these okay. guys are have a nine inch uh, flamer. flamer. So okay. Just, okay, that's in. That's in. How many are coming in? Uh, just the five man squad there. Five man squad. Five boys. We want to nuke these guys. Hopefully. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to go for it. Uh, so we're gonna do blight bombardment. So we use a strategy before a friendly death guard unit shoots or fires Overwatch. When resolving that unit shots, every model in the unit is that is equipped with a blight grenade can throw one. Is that a command point? Yeah. So it's final one. command. So, point. so uh, six inches, which will be I think all these boys here. My boys are just charging into a sea of grenades. So these guys out. <laughs> Ew, so gross. Uh, here, no, don't do it. Yeah, they're sticky. So this will be four d six shots. Um, and I know the biologist does something else. I think it's if I get a wound roll of a six, um, it's a more wound. Nice. So there's that. Could have been something I could have used earlier, but I got to get within six inches, so it makes it kind of makes it kind of meh. Uh, let's see. Uh, blight racks increase the strength and damage of all blight grenades and carried by friendly death grenades by one. Uh, yeah, sixes cause rolls. So forty six. Uh, let me use those dice. I don't want to. I don't want to use my dice anymore. <laughs> They're betraying you. They're betraying me. Nurgle, uh, Nurgle, so. Nurgle has left you. And then the other guys are just going to shoot their normal stuff. So right here. So it's that? It's 11, 12, 14 shots. Ooh. All but six. It's a respectable 12, amount of of dice to roll. Two, 14. So we need sixes to hit first. Wow. Okay. Nice. Holy Toledo. All right. <laughs> I want it. So is, now are those mortal wounds or is it just the one guy that... So it's going to be uh, sixes to wound is mortal wounds. Got it. Wounds. Okay. They so are completely with this. What's up? Strike three on them or what? Strike four now. Is it strike four? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So force wound, right? Yep. So okay. one mortal wound. Okay. They okay. are just plague the weapons. So far. Uh, so you got Two three normals. Is. 
Is it in addition to? Yep. Okay, uh, so just three saves then um, on the four man squad now. They make them. All right, that paid off. Uh, so two shots from his bolter. No. Two shots from this dude's bolter. No. And I don't think that guy can see. All right, go for it. All right, normal snake eyes, please. Nope, they're definitely in. Um, I need to position them just a little bit. Uh, so that'll be nine inches. I want to get, so the first model has to end up closest. There he is. And then this guy can move uh, this way. I want him within that. And these guys can go here. So uh, this next squad is also going to charge um, these plague marines as well. Okay. Um, go, go, fellas. Oh, shoot. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I'm going to heroically intervene. Uh, yeah, it'll be after the everybody's charged here. Yeah. So. Okay, these guys will make it in right here as well. Seven inch charge, they so make it in pretty well. Um, Dreadnoughts are gonna just hang out, I suppose. See, see how it goes for them. Um, and uh, I think that's all I want to do. Yeah, well you can go right into the fight phase if uh, the thing was ready. Yep, uh, heroically intervene with my Lord of Contagion, my yes. Warlord, he's gonna take some heads. Gonna take some heads. All right, uh, I need some dice. Um, we are gonna be hitting. Everybody's got falchions, and the just car gets an extra attack. All right, sorry about that. I just had to switch out the battery. All right, guys. Uh, so it's gonna be the first four-man squad. Uh, so they're all equipped with falchions. So they get two attacks apiece, and then the just car's in there, so they'll get uh, an additional attack. So he's gonna be hit on fours because miasma pestilence extends into the fight phase. So hit on fours. Okay, that was a miss. Okay, and then uh, five, six to wound because they're only strength four. Uh, you got two wounds, minus two. Damage? Uh, D3. So first one, three, second one, one. Okay, we'll go one guy. Alright, he's dead. <clears throat> and then he's at three, we'll just do two and see if he lives. He doesn't. Okay. Cool. Alright, and then we'll activate the uh, the next charging unit, which is the five-man squad. So there's uh, one guy, two guy, three guy, four guy. Are you missing uh, a guy? Five guy. Uh, you said a four-man squad? Four-man squad. Oh yeah, one one died to Overwatch, you're right. One died to Overwatch. Cheating! So both both four-man squads? Yeah, I tried to cheat. That's that's what I do frequently. Wow. I'm just a big I'm cheater. Very nice. Very nice. Got to struggle for everything. Daniel, the only one with any integrity. <laughs> Alright, uh, these guys can be Glad in force. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Alright, so four hits out of those guys. Five, six to wounds. Uh, one wound, minus two. And uh, D3. Two. Ah! Ah! Alright. He gone. And uh, oh, that's, that's, that's my fight phase. I'm ready to uh, get my head taken. Receive. Senior Lord of Contagion. We shall see what he does to you. Uh, I've never used this guy before. So we have four attacks. Uh, four attacks. We're hitting you on twos. Nice. Uh, they all hit. No, uh, we are false emperor. Hey, death the false emperor. You have six in it. Oh. Okay, I tried. Way to go. Way to go, Nick. <laughs> I tried. Way to freaking go. <laughs> I just want to make you feel bad. And then we got uh, strength seven, so just threes. And rerolling. Oh, yeah, let's get those dice away. Thank you. Uh, rerolling this guy. Three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, minus three. Minus three. Six up. Come on, strike Marines. Oh, nope. no. Yeah, three damage. Yeah, the... they're, then they're super obliterated. Wait, where's the just a car in the squad? Uh, I think it's this guy. They just turn to rust. Yeah. Turn to rust. Float away in the breeze. Just float away in the breeze. I like to think that they explode. They just explode. And just a, just into a million an explosion pieces. of viscera and gore. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that real quick. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep the one strike marine there and uh, take away my justicar car. So that way he's within three inches of that objective. Um truly wise. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, and uh, yeah, you're flight marines. I forgot to punch that dude in the face. <laughs> Go for it. Punch him till he dies. <laughs> punch him till he dies, yes. Alright, so two shot or two attacks from that guy. One attack from that guy. Two attacks. Hitting you on. Oh. Okay. No re rolls. That is a wound. Yep. If you nothing. 
Yeah. Three plus! Come on, strike Marine! Oh, oh. Stabs him in the <laughs> his mouth stomach just oh, rises sorry, up and yeah. just bites his head. I like off. to think that his mouth stomach was the one, like the, the tongue of his mouth was holding the actual knife and just went, ah! <laughs> so I like, no, that didn't happen. What? Alright, uh, what did you get there? Like, what are your victory points? Um, so, I got, I achieved overwhelming firepower, did not get this guy dead, even though it was close. Yeah. So I only scored one for that. Psychic Communion, I do did get D3. You do points. did get that? I do did get that. D3? For one. One. Sick! So, so that'll be that, and uh, I did secure objective one as well, because that's that one right there. All right, so, so you got three uh, victory points there. So Push I think to four, four to five. Yep. And All right. That's, that's it. Um, yeah. All right, so we will come back uh, for Nathaniel's movement phase. Uh, uh, morale, morale check. Oh. Plus ten. Plus ten on the play range. Right, right. Yeah. Why didn't you? Why didn't you talk about the morale phase, you cheater? Uh, <laughs> I don't need to take morale because uh, they want us So leadership. The only other guy that went in there is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that that squad is fucked up. They, they're gone. We can come back. Oh gosh. All right, yeah. we will. Uh, we'll just come back uh, after the morale phase. <laughs> Three. <laughs> right. See now they know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. All right, we're gonna do my asthma pestilence on this boy here. Uh, oh, movement phase. Oops. Uh, so oh my god. Let's get some get. Phase. First time. Uh, he jumped over here. This guy jumped back over here. Uh, Bloat drone floaty man jumped over there. Uh, these guys remained stationary. Nobody moved. Uh, I had some characters fall back because we're really scared of those paladins. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then uh, what did you get for your new objective? Um, disgusting devotions. Yep, disgusting devotions, and I get a uh, one victory point if I get seven disgustingly resilience in a turn. Totally doable. Doable, yeah, but I don't know why I keep getting these cards. And then just to recap, uh, Nathaniel has no more, uh, no more command, command points, points and uh, Nick is down to his last one. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do it. All right, so second phase, uh, we're gonna do my asthma pestilence on uh, this flip drone. Goes off on a twelve. Yeah, I'm not gonna deny that. Okay. One. One. Um. Okay. Takes uh, a singular move. Yeah, I don't even know how many. You know, if those guys have disgustingly resilient. Four. They do. They don't. <sighs> Didn't matter. They're dead anyways. He doesn't have disgustingly resilient. How does he not? He's look at all. Look at his. He's not the malignant plague cat. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's like the look chaos. all that Nurgle stuff. So like, the, <laughs> so like the Chaos Lord doesn't have it either. Ah, okay, it's, it's so he stupid. is typically resilient. No. Uh, so we're gonna go putrescent vitality. I don't have any more infantry. Never mind. Well, I guess I do with these guys, but there's no point. Um, you know what? We're gonna put it on him. We're gonna make him uh, tough. Going for it. Also, the morale phase. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I we probably those. should have. I lost those guys in the morale phase. We'll reroll this. Okay, uh, nothing. All right, so um, to the shooting phase. But yeah, just to just to cover that, so he lost ten guys out of his fourteen man squad. Yeah. Uh, so he rolled a two, and that brought him over his leadership, and yeah, he ended up really matter. he ended up wiping the squad. Yep. All right, now we can go into the shooting phase. Okay, shooting phase. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and this guy. How many wins does this guy have? Uh, uh, who, had the, who had the wound on him? He's got four, he's got seven. Uh, I repaired him uh, for two wounds. He was on two, now he's on four. And then this guy, he wounded earlier in the first turn of the game. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try to nuke these dudes. Go for it. 2d6 shots. But you won't. Oh, maybe mm, seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. The favorite That's... number of Nurgle. Oh, God. <laughs> these dice are corrupted. No, watch, watch me fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knitting a three. Six, six right? Uh, Rerolling one. Is this the spitter? It is. Pit. So that is, what is that? Six at a minus one? Six at a minus one? Yeah. Oh, God. Yikes. So what, four ups? Yeah, four ups. Go! Hey! Oh. Hey! oh, wow. Phenomenal. All right. Um, mm. They did it. So we this guy's going to be like, you know what? Screw you guys. And he's going to shoot them right in the face. Uh oh. <sighs> Five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Yeah, they're, they're probably 
There we go. Eight wounds. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a little harder. Get get out of here. I got this. No, there's dead. Oh, he's super dead. All right. So that gives me uh, oh, grandfather's really gift. Score a victory point if at least one enemy unit was completely destroyed during your turn by a death guard model attacking with a plague weapon. Plague spitters or plague weapons. Well done. Gives me one whopping command point. Victory point? One, yeah. yeah one. <laughs> I wish I gave that points. Cheater! One victory point for all of that. I guess it's not really that hard, but yeah, I mean, it when I'm rolling like trash, I guess it's so. No. Um, Thanos up to six. That drill into those boys over there. Yes. That's a five. Okay. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to cover because we're kind of off the right here, so. Yep. Right, probably should be next to his dice. All right, that's four wounds. Four wounds in the last one. Uh, no cover, four plus. Uh, fail hey four. Bing, Ooh. bing, 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 bing. Burr, 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 burr. The like guy left. It's brutal. Their, their armor was uh, con constructed by a very lazy Adeptus Mechanicus. Guys, oh my god! Uh, I mean, the, the air seals he's just weren't quite tight he's like, he's like, yeah, you know what? Like what are the odds? What are the odds that they're going to go on? What are the odds these guys are going to face There's a plague drone? Countless, now. countless enemies of the Imperium. <laughs> it's, you didn't, feel, you didn't feel like tightening. I think I can phone seals. this one in. <laughs> phone it. Phone it. Right, let's see what we got here. Thirty-six inch range. Maybe try to plague some wounds off of these fat boys. All right. Um, easily your most productive turn of shooting yet. Yeah, I've killed what? A couple dudes. Two units. Two units. Uh, one unit. One, no, oh uh, yeah, one yeah, unit, one... and it took three turns, uh, 66 shots to do it. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, it's going well, isn't it? Quite well, slow. well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shoot the heavy slugger into, uh, see these guys are going to be so tough. Tough. So, so tough. Into those guys, uh, mortars going into those guys, spitters are out of range. Show. Four shots. Sitting on fours. Wow. Rerolling the one. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, five? Yep. Three. There we go. Minus one. Minus one? Yep. Three plus. Three plus armor save for Terminators. One dice. This is Higher. where you start to fall apart, Nick. The dice <laughs> have turned. <laughs> Alright. They're turning against me already. I'm using the yellow dice. Yeah, he's using yellow dice. He will never use. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these in the trash. Yeah. Get that, get get that, that shit out of here. Mortar. Four shots. Huh? It's respectable. It is respectable. Okay. okay. Rerolling right. this one here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, two. Rerolling ones if there's any. No, there's not. So minus two. Four plus. And roll save or armor save. Take your pick. May I both make okay. them? Okay. Solid. Next guy is going to shoot his uh, little minigun. Rerolling the ones here. Oh, no. It's all happening again. <laughs> okay, thank God. Alright, uh, three plus. Uh, make one fail. Dang! Dang. Uh, mortar? Yeah. Oh, ah! Oh. One shot. That's what we don't want to see off that mortar. And it. Oh, re rolls, re roll. So I took one wound on a power. Uh, last mortar. Oh, oh no. no! The dreaded six. What? You think you can just like blow yes. that guy's up? Oh, yes, I do. You permanently lose that. Oh. Force. Oh no. Ooh. Oops. It's deadly. Oh my gosh. Twos. Rerolling ones. Oh, there's two ones. Disgusting. That's five, five wounds. Need uh four plus here. Four plus. Come on, fellas. Oh. Yay! Oh, and uh, so one is down to one wound. Gross. One is down to one wound. I'll choose. Uh, I'll choose this guy. You have been chosen to be wounded, sir. That's all my shooting. Okay. okay. So we're gonna charge. Ch charge. God, I can't believe you're just wrecking my mind. So we're gonna charge. Oh my god. This guy. He's falling <laughs> He's apart. Falling okay. apart. For with who? Can't handle the pressure. This with your freaking. The tongue. only guy that can charge him, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see, so it's really hard to play this game, actually. So. Alright, um, I'll get to do my overwatch. Uh, seven? Seven? Sure. Yeah. So All you're right. charging into the one that only has four wounds? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Uh, looking for sixes to hit. One hit. Wound in on a four, because you're toughness four, or toughness seven. Toughness four. Toughness seven. Strength seven. Wounding on fours. Uh, mm -hmm. Storm Bolter doesn't wound. Go. That's a six. That's not it. Well, 
Nothing uh, else. charging that guy down there. Get out of here! You, this is the champion of the Imperium. You can't. Yes. You can't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> okay, so... Oh, yes! Uh, Come on! Oh! Uh, no! Oh, he, he, he cares not. Champion oh, of man. the Imperium. Derek the Great Height. This is Champion of the Imperium. He'd be fine. Rolled a freaking 11 for a charge. <laughs> He's a Champion of the Imperium. He doesn't care. Um... Yeah, we're not charging... We're not messing with this stuff over here. No, man. Go for it. <laughs> no, I'm good. Alright. Fight face. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to fight that guy. No, you're not. You're not gonna be able to beat Derek. Yeah. Derek? Is that his name? Yeah, yeah so Derek the Grey Knight. Derek the Grey Knight. Well, I got like a little. He's got like a little he's, thing on his nose. He saw all of his yes. friends. He saw all of his like friends broken. die, and uh, he's, he's like, like wow. really concerned about the quality oh, wow. of his armor. <laughs> <laughs> he is concerned about the quality of his armor. Oh, God. Nothing. Oh. Champion of the pyramid. Here he goes. Attack him back. Uh, head on threes. Uh, and winning on fives can re-roll because you're a demon. Re-rolling, because uh, demon hunter, special rule, no wounds. Almost. Come on, no. champion. God. Um, champion. that's the end of my turn. It's consolation champion. So, um, I guess supremacy. Well done. Uh, D3. Well done, Slowly losing out on the objective. For so a, a great one. So we're at seven to four. And I'm going to get rid of... Do I get rid of Spread of Contagion? I don't think I do. Do I get rid of Disgusting Devotions? Is it in... Okay, so it's in each turn. So if I make seven Disgustingly Resilience... I haven't been rolling fives. But you do have your Plague Drones. I'm going beef. to keep it, I think. Pretty beef. Alright, so pretty we beef. will... Buff. Uh, does he need to make a round? Oh save? yeah, he does. Uh, but he's a champion of the so um, he's gonna run. Like the oh world. god, uh, uh, they shall know no fear. Let me use uh, this. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's gone. Oh, okay. Champion of the Imperium. No. Yeah, you got punished for using a different dice to start. <laughs> champion um. of the Wimperium. <laughs> 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 Alright, we'll be back uh, with the uh, next turn. basically moved everything forward. I'm going to try and... So I got these cards here. Defend Objective 6, which is probably not going to be... Po I mean, I, if I can make a charge, it'll be nice next turn. If I make a charge this turn and kill that thing, possibly. Uh, I got Predators Received for Blood and Guts, which means my Warlord, the Paladin Ancient, is going to have to kill one of these, one of these fly dudes, which is going to be really difficult. Um... In the fight phase as well, so uh, destroy the demon. That's helpful because there's three demons that I'm looking at destroying this turn. Is that just uh, D3 for? So if I, I get one, if I destroy one, and if I destroy between three and five, I get D3, and if I destroy six, which means I destroy these three and these three plague. Oh, it's, gonna it's gonna be easy. Oh my gosh, you don't even know. Um, so Nick is not intending on <laughs> blowing up all of those. And uh, defend objective two, which is impossible because uh, his homeboy is sitting on it, and uh, probably get rid of that one at the end of this turn. So got some uh, things that I can do. Uh, it's unfortunate that I showed, that I got priority to received. I would have liked that to have just been blood and guts, but that's the way it goes. Okay, shooting our uh, second phase, probably important. Um, we're going to start with a smite. Uh, since these are all demons, uh, it's going to be just flat three because uh, granites have the demon wow. hunter. Wow. Demon hunter. Wow. Wow. Demon hunter uh, key, or, um, keyword special rule. So, um, rights of banishment. That's Snake eyes. Uh, uh, smite from him onto him. Snake eyes. Not quite. That's not snake eyes. Deny. Nine. Yes. I could Ooh. deny it. But you I could. You're not gonna deny it. No. All right, flat three. <clears throat> okay. He takes three. Down to seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, this gentleman here. Oh, uh, before we move on, uh, I'm gonna repair this guy once again. we have got four wounds, so he's back up to six. Oh man, back from Slowly the Slowly getting up. A pack from the brink. <laughs> um, he's gonna go ahead and smite into that fella there. Uh, goes off on uh, eleven. Okay. Plus one. Does that not count as perils? If uh, it's, you have to roll a double it's six. Gotta be a or, natural. Yes. Okay. Double six or double one. Got it. All right. No discussing the resilience yet. Okay. And then uh, he'll do the same thing. Smite goes off. Uh. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to deny that. I guess. With this guy. Okay, and it was off on a seven. Yeah. He said, denied. He said no. How oh, does Grey Nice were denied by Wow. 
Shameful. Is it shameful, shameful to spray. Shameful to spray. Uh, this guy is gonna uh, cast actually crow. He's got a d6 smite. Uh, he's gonna smite into uh, that uh, guy as well. And five goes off. On okay. D6. <laughs> <laughs> crow. Why don't you just have a normal smite? Uh, I'm gonna command point that. His last command point. Damn it! For nice. two. <laughs> and he's gonna get both of them back. Oh, no, 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 no. Way to waste. That, counts, that actually oh, counts towards my little thingamajig here. Oh, Thanks, oh man, all you did was help. Thanks, pal. <laughs> uh, he is gonna go ahead and cast smite as well. Uh, goes off. Flat three damage. Gross, come on. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, and then um, this, the. He has a banner of a fighting flame, the warlord, uh, with a little banner on top of his head. It's a d6 smite, and he's gonna cast it into there as well. Uh, goes off. That's good. And d6. d6. six. For Ooh, six. 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 This, could be, this could be big for Nathaniels. Or three, actually. This could be big. He could be yeah. really disgusting and resilient. Yeah. Maybe I can make some. Oh, okay. So, so he lives on one, lives and on it one. pumps me up by what, two more? Two, two more, two yeah. More. Mm. Okay, down to one. All right, and then uh, this paladin squad will uh, smite him as well. <clears throat> it's cocky. I mean, that is, it's gonna yeah. go off. Go off, it goes off. Flat three. Okay, I could get my tally here, and I get zero. <laughs> All right, and then um, Voldus is gonna cast Hammerhand onto uh, the paladin squad there, needing a warp charge value of six. Uh, it does go off, so they are hammer-handed. Um, do I even need... Your only minus three weapon is the plasma... I guess the plasma pistol. Uh, we'll go ahead and cast Sanctuary on that group from Voldus as well. He'll cast Sanctuary on that group of paladins. Uh, it does go off on a six. Did I get my asthma off on this guy? Uh, yes, you did. I did. I did put the card next to him. Uh, so they're sanctified. <laughs> and then uh, Voldus will cast Smite into um, that... That uh, plague drone. Just what's their system. normal? What's these guys' normal in uh, Five plus. Okay. Yeah. So it's standard. not going to matter. Too well, standard sure you're taking your your saves. And uh, that's I mean, three. That's... Yeah, it's um, it's not going to matter too much because most of your stuff is minus two anyway. So. Still nothing, nothing. So seven. Grey Knights brutal against demons. They're brutal. All right, brutal. All right. Uh, next is going to be the shooting phase. I think I know what I want to shoot, so let's just get You're ready to roll right into it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'll start off with this guy. He's going to put everything into here. Okay. Um, so that's going to be six shots from the side cannon, hitting on uh, threes because he moved. That's only three hits. And winning on uh, fours because strength seven versus toughness. Oh, nice. Three wounds. Three wounds minus one, two damage. Uh, five up. Four up. Should be right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Three plus armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still two and three. Still a bunch six. of fails like always. Six damage. Six. Okay, makes one. So that puts me on five now. Maybe oh. I can. Uh, so that has two. All right, and then we have the storm bolter hitting on twos because it's not a heavy weapon. Winning on five six. One, two wounds, no AP, one damage. Cocked. Uh, one. Okay. All right. Um. See, this is a this is a little bit tricky because I want to make I want to try and make a charge to get them a little bit more mobility and potentially get. Um. Yeah, and actually, I didn't even cast astral aim because I was too busy was... fighting. Just gonna mention that. Ah, uh, didn't even cast it, and he can't see anything. Ooh, rough, rough play on my end. He can't see I'm, this, but I want to make, I want to make a charge as well. Actually, do I need to? Do I have any objective ones? No. Uh, Lander is gonna open up into everything into here. Okay. Uh, so it'll be uh, threes to hit, and threes to wound. Last cannon. So at your demon save. Nope. No saves okay. over there. 3d6, uh, you got 6-7. Six, seven. Seven. Maybe, maybe. This is it. It's gonna get... Strong things, don't worry. Maybe I can roll two? That'd be sweet. Rolled one. You rolled one. <laughs> rolled one. <laughs> oh, but you're just, you're only one shy though. Yeah, but he's dead. He is, yeah, he is these, dead. These rolls have been terrible. Terrible. Very, very bad. Very, very bad rolling. Alright, um... That these two are the closest. Oh my god! 
These two are can't shoot any of these guys, and I don't want to shoot. Actually, I'll take this dreadnought, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot into the the plague drone here. Okay. Um, he has a within rapid fire range for Stormbolter, so Stormbolter is gonna be hitting on twos. Those all hit. Nice. Five, six. Uh, one wound. No idea. Can finish it here. Nope, that's <laughs> off the board. Off the floor. Uh, that probably would have been my five into two. The, into the war. Yep. Makes it. Yeah, no, makes it. Makes it. Fails it. No, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So right. you're good. Uh, you put that one back. Uh, and then we got to side cannon shots. So these are gonna be these. hitting on uh, <laughs> fours now because your mind is my pestilence, right? Yeah. So hitting on fours. Whoa, Whoa he doesn't matter. care. Side cannon. Fours? Yeah, side cannon. Winning on fours. So you got four, uh, four minus one. <clears throat> Force. Okay, so here's the opportunity. Failed. Oh my god. Alright. Two there. Five. And then um, we are going to shoot down to five. Uh, we'll shoot this dreadnought into him as well. I don't really want to kill him. I want you to kill him. And I, I want to make some disgusting. One disgusting, the resilient, and you kill him, and I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, hitting on fours, because uh, your mind is on the pestilence. Yeah. Uh, no rerolls, because it's range of all this. Went on fours. Damn, this is this? Four. Uh, this is the heavy side cannon from this dreadnought. This is the heavy side cannon? Yep. Minus one. Okay, uh, so good. Four. Four. Disgusting resilience. There's one! Yes! That's two, though. Okay, so I get uh, one point for that. So that puts him to eight. Yes. Okay, and then we're doing the uh, Storm Bolters. Uh, hitting on threes because you're my asthma. Winning on five, six, two wounds. Ooh. Please don't. Please, Please don't can I fail these? Oh, oh no. He oh, fails them. All right, no fives here, buddy. No, please don't do that. It's not a storm. Yes! No, are you kidding me? Oh, I Let's shot. go. Does, I mean, you do get D3 victory points at least. I do because I killed the demon. I mean, at I least it's make, guaranteed. I don't make charges and I don't uh, do blood and guts. I might be able to get blood and guts later, but for now, my army is kind of just like sitting where I don't want them to sit. And I'm also not starting Defend Objective 6, which is really unfortunate. I tried to. Uh, yeah, so. That's the way it goes. It's a good day. That's the way it goes. It's a very so I good just day. Kind of shot myself out of, the, out of that, so. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, no, no charges because I'm not in range of anything, and um, I do get D3 for destroy the demon. So D3 for one Just again. One. God, so that puts you, I think, at seven five. total. I'm at five. You're at five. I think the last turn. I think I was, no. I was, I was keeping track. I was okay. Keeping track pretty well. Bill trying to give you extra points. What do you say to that? Um, <laughs> yeah. That bill's kind of cheap for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna discard defend objective two. And that is my turn. You're gonna discard two? Oh yeah, that's gonna take two because all right. By the time I get there, the game's probably gonna so. Be this is gonna be rough. Very rough. Okay. Uh, no morale checks, and I have no charges. So. All that's right. It. Turn four for Death Guard. Yep. So basically, he killed three blood drones in one turn. So that's pretty tough. Uh, I'm gonna be moving back. Uh, try to get um, points as much as I can, but yeah, he's got a lot of stuff still on the board. I, I don't have that much stuff on the board, so kind of sucks, but uh, we picked up Airy Denial, so I'll be getting a point for that, which is nice. Uh, we got Symbol of the Fly Lord, so if I hold uh, three victory points, I get D3, so that could be huge. Uh, Kingslayer's not going to happen, and then we still have that same thing that if my, my Lord back here, if he survives the game, I get another victory point. So, like I said, basically just moving back, um, trying to consolidate my stuff. Um, yeah, that's basically all that's happening. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw my Asthma of Pestilence from him onto this guy, onto my tank. Which is my deny range of the guy. Oh, yeah, just in. <clears throat> so, that doesn't go off. And I'm going to do my Asthma, or not my Asthma of Pestilence, uh, Putrescent Vitality on that guy. So that goes off on a seven. I'll, uh, I guess I'll try to deny it uh, with this dreadnought right here. Uh, deny. Okay. Hooray! One guy. <laughs> so there's that. One guy. <laughs> uh, you know, just. Uh, you still, oh, yeah, you, you still yep, apply. Still well, this doesn't apply those, does it? Yes, it does. Hammerhand? Yep. Got it off. Uh, yeah, Nick's psychic phase. Okay, so shooting phase. Everything stood still except for this guy here. Um, we're going to shoot with him first. We're going to go ahead and shoot. 
Uh, the mortar here and the smaller gun here. <coughs> so, let's start with this first. How many wounds does this guy have left? Is that seven? Seven? Yep. Okay, mortar first. One shot. It's cock. No. Smaller weapon. Okay. Not bad. Better. Uh, one wound. Okay, one wound. No minus one, right? And that's on the paladins. Paladins. Uh, paladins. Three up. He's good. Okay. There's no one paladin. One wound. Just letting you know. Uh, mortar. Yeah, you can't see anything else. Mortar into that front dreadnought there. This guy. Yep. Okay. Another cool. one. That's a wound. Uh, five plus armor save makes it on a five. Okay. Right. Uh, mortar and big or little gun in there. Cool. One, two, three. Oh gosh. This could this this could be big. Six. Yeah. No, it was. Three all once. Yep. Uh, cool. Cool. Uh, plague weapon with. with. There we go. Two five plus. Oh, coming back. Fails both. All right. Takes six. six. The big Ooh. six. Uh, needing six to ignore. Unyielding ancient makes three. three. He is indeed unyielding. Down to four. He uh, will not yield. So the shots that are going are the paladins. Yep. Uh, toughness. Toughness four. Four. So three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, three plus. Uh, I need to make them all, otherwise the paladin is going to die. Paladin dies. Give me that, that paladin right there. On the okay. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, that's my shooting phase. Um, Quick phase. Yeah, like I said, basically just kind of take points. Playing mm -hmm. points. That's yeah, good. That's all I can really do right now. So that's maelstrom. One point for area denial. Um, one d three points for symbol of the fly lord. Gets two. That's not bad. And that's so we're at uh, I think eleven now. 11. I am at eleven points. All right, I'm gonna have to pull something out. I'm gonna start just like trying to get points. I do have defend objective six coming up. Uh, blood and guts is gonna be hard. Probably get rid of that next turn. Just discard it. And um, yeah, we'll uh, see see where it goes. All right, coming back after next phase. Um, again, just trying to uh, advance the paladins because their bolters aren't gonna really do very much this round because the the tanks are tough as eight and three plus armor, five plus normal, or five plus feeling pain. It, I'm just not going to hurt him with strong bolters. So they advance. Uh, Voldus is staying behind a little bit because I want him to sit on objective 6 because I drew uh, defend objective 6, or I had defend objective 6 before, and I also drew secure objective 6. Still have blood and guts with priority orders received, which, like I said, I'll probably be getting, be getting rid of here shortly. And uh, defend objective 3, which is uh, sitting right there. So uh, let's go on psychic phase. Um, we're, or before we go on the second phase, we're going to do a repair roll on that Dreadnought with four wounds. Gets a wound back, so he's on five. And then uh, the Tech Marine leading us off is going to cast Astral Aim on uh, the Land Raider there. If we move a little bit, that goes off. That's good. So he is Astral Aim, don't forget this time. And then <laughs> uh, the we're going to go with uh, this Dreadnought is going to cast uh, Smite on, and onto... I'm going to make sure he's in range, though. Uh, What's the range? 12 inches, not quite. Um, so we'll go with, uh, we'll cast uh, Smite with the Paladins, because it doesn't really make too much of a difference here. So Smite with Paladins onto that uh, thing. Goes off on a 6. Do you wish to deny me? I don't think is your gun range, so let's see. He is not in range. That was my discussing the result. Oh, discussing the result. Good. Twelve, so ten. Down to ten, and then uh, Voldus is going to cast uh, Hammer Hand on that squad because why not? Uh, goes off. Uh, they can't advance in charge, can they? Nope. But uh, might as well have him anyway. And then uh, Sanctuary as well because why not? Goes off as well. Okay. Okay, so they are buffed up. Can you just put those? I still have them over there. They're buffed up, which is good. And then. Uh, I think that's it for the psychic phase. We'll go ahead and move on into the uh, shooting phase next. Um, try and focus some of this stuff down. I do have astral aim on, which is good. 
Um, so yeah, we'll go into the shoot phase next. All right. You ready for that, or do you wanna? Uh, I'm gonna need sink. a minute. Uh, All right. Figure out what I wanna do. Uh, we're gonna open up with the Land Raider, um, and he is going to go ahead and shoot his heavy bolter into uh, this gentleman right here, and um, he's also gonna shoot his um, storm bolter into there as well. He'll shoot his last cannons over there into that tank. So this is gonna be uh, hit on threes with the last cannons. Uh, no rerolls available. Uh, they all hit. Where's this going into? The uh, the tank. Yep, yeah. the tank. He's got astral aim, so he can see through walls. And uh, three is to wound because it's strength nine. Uh, three wounds minus three. Five book demons. Nope. And that's three d six damage. Uh, six, ten? seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three damage. Three, three, one for each. Seven, eight, two more dice. There you go. Okay. Looks like you saved three. So seven. Down to three. All right, and then uh, we're gonna go with um, the uh, the heavy bolter into the one plague marine left. So twin, twin heavy bolter, hit on threes, because uh, he ignores moving and heavy with power of the machine spirit. Whoa. And wounding on fours because strength five. Uh, three wounds minus one, and it ignores cover. Mm, damage. Okay, that's good. Um, we are gonna go ahead and use uh, this dreadnought, and he's gonna shoot Mr. Bell Guy there, um, since characters can't block characters, and the Bell Guy will be the closest if I was uh, shoot, shooting him there. So, uh, heavy side cannon is gonna be just in range. It's gonna be 24, 24 inches. Yep, he's in range for sure. Uh, it's gonna be. Actually, might as well start chipping down on the. Nah, we'll, we'll go for the bell guy. Shoot what you can kill. Uh, hit on threes because he moves. He's got a heavy weapon. Two hits. Wounded on threes because strength seven. No wounds. Jokes on you. Shoot what you can kill. Jokes on <laughs> me. Hit on twos. And we're on five six. Nope. No. Bell guy. Bell guy does not care. Says nay. He's, he's just, just like. He just hits the bell over and over again. Ding. He's just listening yeah. to the to the side bolt. Just hit yeah, his dude. bell. Ding ding. It makes him happy. Yeah. So. He does. Uh, this dreadnought is gonna go ahead and shoot the plague burst crawler there uh, with his psi cannon, heavy psi cannon. Two, four, six. Uh, this is gonna hit on threes because the heavy weapon and he moved. Okay, winning on five, six because it is toughness eight. Uh, two wounds, minus one, two damage piece. Okay, two damage. Two damage. Uh, Down to two. And then uh, he's got a storm bolter, hit on twos. Ooh. Double six. Wounding on sixes. Oh, yeah, cool. I got a wound. He's good. Cool. And then uh, we'll do Voldus with his storm bolter, hit on twos. Uh, both hit. And wounding on sixes. One wound. Six and a five again. No. To a two. Into a two. Okay, and I think. It's down to one wound. One wound. Yeah, I advanced the Warlord and I advanced the Paladin, so they're not able to shoot. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, no charges to declare because I'm not in range of anything. So it's going to be um, just securing Objective 6 for now. So that's one point. So yep. he's at 6 That makes yeah, to that makes Nathaniel's six. 11. Yep. yep. And 11. then uh, I will discard um, Priority Orders Received. I don't need that. Priority Orders Received with Blood and Guts. Discarding that, and uh, that'll be my turn. Alright, All right. so uh, end of the movement phase, just kind of move my forces back. Um, I drew pretty poorly, I drew secure objective 3, which I will get, but then I drew domination and behind enemy lines, so there's that. Um, Plague Burst Crawlers are kind of going to try to scream. Um, let me actually move this guy like this. These guys back a little bit. All right, so yeah, Plague Burst Crawlers screening, sort of. Um, attempting to just hold out until the end of the game. Um, I am going to, so this puts me at 12 uh, victory points. Uh, so moving into the shooting phase, uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy. Oh, nope, this guy advanced. We're going to shoot this guy. He's going to shoot at, who's the most hurt? Uh, do you want to do your second? Oh yeah. Um, psychic phase. We're gonna go ahead and put Miasma on this guy. Okay. That's a seven. I will attempt to deny with this dreadnought. Uh, nope, it goes off. Okay. 
So there's that, that helps. Uh, miasma pestilence. And then we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, we're just... Oh, you took no wounds off him, right? No, I did not. I mean, uh, yeah, we, we just won't do anything else. There's nothing really else to do. Uh, go straight into the shooting phase. Um, he's gonna shoot everything, uh, actually, Mortar into one of the dreadnoughts, uh, little gun into your dudes over there. This dreadnought? Yeah. Okay. He's the most hurt one, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, five wounds and six wounds. And he's hit on sixes because he moved to nope. fives. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. Moved and degraded. Yeah. So, one of shots. One, of course. One. Oh, that's oh, a hit. into a six. Wounds. Yep. Uh, look at that. Five up on that dreadnought. Fails. Uh, two, six up on Yielding Ancients. Nope. Nothing there. Those are both. Down to three. Nothing. Okay, this guy. Same deal? Yep. Cool. Four shots this time from the mortar. Okay. Uh, that's two hits because he moved. Uh, that's no wounds. Um, this is into those dudes over there. We're rolling the one. Uh, one hit, because it's, and one wound. Oh, it's on your paladins. Gotcha, one wound, three plus. Nope, fails. Oh, one. one takes a wound down to two wounds on one. Dude, this rolling's been awful. I can't roll threes to save my life. Uh, I can do it, there we go. Oh, I choose you. A good choice. All right. Oh, that's what my, uh, that's my shooting phase. I think I kind of know why uh, Death Guard players always play Arch Contaminator, because you need to reroll all those failed moons. But I went with something fun, Rotten Constitution, um, didn't come into play. So, uh, yeah, so I got Secure Objective 3. For putting him to, putting 12. to 12. And then I'm going to get rid of Domination, because that's not going to happen. I'm going to have to pull out some serious victory point gains this next turn, otherwise I'm going to have to leave it up to chance, because this is my last turn to actually get victory points. And I'm going to need at least seven because he's got one in reserve. Like a victory point just that's been sitting there and it's with this character. You did just get, alive. this is your second consecutive turn. Yes. So, you so will I did get defend objective. So that brings me up to, to eight. Uh, eight victory points. So I'll put the little marker there. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> Believe we'll get, in miracles. We'll three draws. So yeah, it's going to have to be victory points or nothing. So, All right, we'll okay. come back. Um, I am back. Uh, we have completed the movement phase. I got uh, Scout of the Skies, which is really unfortunate. Could have used that a little earlier. I uh, got Defend Objective 3, which I'm not going to be getting here anytime soon. And then I got Hold the Line, so I shuffled these guys back. Uh, I did score uh, Defend Objective 6, which was over there. And then I got Deeds of Legends, which is uh, I need to kill a character or a monster. So there's plenty of characters in there. They're kind of all guarded currently, though. Uh, and then that Defend Objective... Objective uh, brought him up to eight points. Yeah, so I'm at eight. Eight to, eight to uh, 12. Yeah. twelve. Twelve, and then plus one because he's going to get one at the end. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty tough, but uh, yeah, so these guys shuffled back um, just to get me that additional victory point because I needed it. So they're all in my deployment zone there. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go on to the uh, psychic phase. So why don't we start out with. Um, we're going to start out with Vortex of Doom on this dreadnought, is going to go into that tank there. So needing a warp charge value of eight or more. It's a, it's a hefty. Oh, oh and, he, and it's on a twelve, which means that it's going to be d6 mortal wounds unless if Nathaniel can. Uh, you can't deny it actually because it's a twelve. Okay. And so it'll be d6 mortal wounds to everything within three inches of this tank. Ooh. And um, so it'll be d6 on the sorcerer. Six. Oh, oh got lucky with that with the uh, deeds of legends there, and then uh, d6 on the tank for oh. six. Rolling hot. Mix one. So is that what? Four, no, five. And then uh, on your uh, Lord of Contagion there, three on the Lord of Contagion. Wow. Okay, if anybody else is within three, so that'll be it for that. Come on. How many for the Lord of Contagion? Three. three. All right, he's got a whole team. He's only going to give me four up. Nice. Okay, takes one. Just takes one. Just the one. Alright, that was good. Good from that dreadnought. 
Um, this so the deed of legend is that what do you have to kill them? Character just has to kill a character. So just it doesn't say. Score like, D three victory points if you kill that enemy character or monster during this turn. Nice. Yeah, there we go. That was a deed of legend. Getting that vortex of doom on a high roll. That was my. That was that a was, long shot. That was big. That was nice. Um, next, we're gonna do this dreadnought. I think the closest is gonna be this uh, this tank here. And it's actually gonna be this tank right here. Um, so he'll go ahead and cast. Uh, actually, the this uh, dreadnought back here is gonna cast um, smite on that tank there. Since it's the closest. Uh, does go off uh, on another 12, essentially. Okay. Does he blow up? Ooh, this could be big. No, he doesn't, though. He does, not. <laughs> does not. It was not big. It was just a normal... A normal blow up. Just um, disintegrated into a rusty pile of ash. Rusty pile of ash. Uh, these guys are going to cast uh, Smite on that tank. Then a 5, goes off on that tank. Goes off on a 6. Oh, one more. And it's auto three because that's we yeah, said those auto three, demons. The demons. Yeah, they're demon. Demon keyword on them. They have unfortunate, unfortunate. unfortunate. Um, Voldus is out of range of his smite, so he'll cast uh, sanctuary or uh, he'll cast uh, hammer hand on those paladins for what it's worth. Uh, does not go off. Um, I'm not gonna have him cast anything else because he can't really cast anything else. I could cast sanctuary, but everything else is minus two except for a couple weapons in here. So I don't really need that. Um, we're going to cast Astral Aim on uh, this guy right here. So Astral Aim onto there. Uh, does go off, so he will be Astral Aimed. And that should be the Psychic Phase. Pretty um, productive Psychic Phase. That was productive. It was this, this Dreadnought right here, very, uh, that was a deed of legend. That was huge. As the card says. So that would be nice. And, um, yeah, let's go on to the Shooting Phase next. Um, I think I know what I want to do. Yeah, okay. we'll go right into it. Okay. All right, um, he's going to shoot everything into there. Um, so we got, let's see, that's six shots. Hit on threes because he moved with a heavy weapon. Minus one to hit. Uh, minus one to hit because of my asthma. So one hit. Winning on five, six. Nothing. And um, he got uh, these guys. Hit on uh, threes. Winning on sixes with his Stormbolter. One wound. On that Who's tank this? There. This guy. On to your uh, new wave tank. Yep. Good. That's good. That's good. Six. Um, I guess we will shoot at the non minus one. So uh, this dreadnought's going to shoot into there. Uh, that's going to be six shots. Two, four, six. Hit on threes because he moved with a heavy weapon. Putting on five, six. Nothing. And then we're going to do storm bolters. Hit on twos. Putting on sixes. One wound. Cool. Uh, Paladin's advanced. Boldus advanced. And um, I guess the. The Warlord did not, so he's got two struggle shots into the same tank. And on twos, we're rolling ones because uh, uh, he's not quite in range of all this, so six to wound, nothing. And we'll do the last final dreadnought uh, into the same target, hitting on uh, threes, and he will not be re rolling ones, and winning on uh, five, six, one wound, minus one. Cool. And we're gonna do the everything from this. Land Raider. Uh, we'll do the heavy bolter and the heavy bolter into twin heavy bolter into this uh, tank here, and then the last cannons into that far guy over there. So uh, twin heavy bolter first, in on threes, no re rolls. Winning on five six because it's strength five, nothing. And then we got last cannons into that far one over there, no hits. Oh nice. man. Ouch. All right. Uh, going on the charge phase. Uh, this dreadnought is going to go ahead and charge that tank there. Two easy shots. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's see what profile he's on. Alright, with seven wounds. Seven wounds remaining. Should be four. Yeah, okay. should still be top profile. Yeah, Maybe he's got one. Be one wound. Going at a, um, wounding you at a three? Yes. Yeah. So threes. We're rolling the one. Okay. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds, minus one. Strength, strength against. Or sorry, it'd be forced to wound you. Okay. 
So, because you're five? You're tough seven. Four, right? Tough seven. Tough seven, so I got five. Five wounds, uh, minus one, uh, for four ups. Uh, fail two, and six ups unyielding. Nope. Uh, so he's down, taking his first wounds down to uh, six here. Okay, he will need a nine to make it in, so it's just kind of a long bomb charge here. I got more shots. Oh, you do? Well, it doesn't make it anyway, so. So I got the mortar. Uh, Rerolling this one. Mortar doesn't move, or not the mortar, the little shot, now it's the mortar. Uh, no, you're within 11, right? Uh, yes. I okay, do. so now he doesn't shoot the mortar. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to charge anything else. Um, I'm afraid if, uh, if I charge him, I'll end up dying, and that would be useless. So, end of the turn, I did get Deeds of Legend, which was nice. So that's going to be uh, D3 victory points for me. Uh, if I get something big, one. I've rolled one. On yeah, that's three rough. D3 objectives, I've rolled one. Uh, so out of nine potential points, I've gotten three. Hold the line. Uh, I did get with that one victory point, so that was cool. one. So give me two more. Put me up to uh, ten. Ten. Which is really unfortunate. Ten to twelve. Yeah. yeah. Bottom um, of turn five. Yeah. So. So you have to roll to see if the game goes on. You want to do do the honors? Let's let Bill do the honors. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. All right. Cool. Is I'm it? playing now. What right. Is the, what is the roll uh, on a three or more of the game? Three or more here. Okay. Here it comes. I believe we'll look it up if it's close. Hello. All right. That's a yeah. death guard victory. Yep. Yep. All, All right. right. Twelve to ten. Uh, death guard win. So we'll be right back with a quick after action.